Now, you probably see the title to this video and you're probably like, whoa, 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 Pat, what you, what, what, what's going on? Why are you quitting? We just get started. Was well, it a little bit dramatic? Yes, but, <laughs> but once I tell y'all what's been happening or what, yeah, what's been happening, you're going to feel exactly where I'm coming from, bro. So let's get into it, man. But YouTube's got down there, man. It's really only Pat, Pappy, and we are back with another video, man. I have a quick story time about what's been going on with my vending machines and my uh, my my business funds in regards to the vending machines. And uh, it, it, it has been pretty, you know what I'm saying? And I think once I tell what happened, y'all gonna be able to relate to what, how, or to how I've been feeling and what I, what I wanna do going forward. So before we get to that, I need y'all to do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We are on the way to 7K. And I know with you guys to support, we can hit 7K for the years. So, all right, so hit that uh that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, share the channel with all your people. And let's talk about what's been going on with my machines, bro. So y'all remember this video I did right here when I installed the car readers? And you know, within that video, you know, I was saying that how I kind of got nervous because my car readers weren't working at the time, not knowing it took. 20 minutes for everything to register and uh, get back in sync with those new car readers. And then once the, the car reader was up, they weren't taking payments. So I called them at the time and they told me, you know, the reason why it wasn't taking cars at the time, they had to update my payment template. So they did that, I tested it out, everything working. So I said, bet, cool, I left. You know, I don't know what day the first fell on, but it had to be a Monday on Wednesday because that's the days I go to the machines. Matter of fact, I I don't know what day it was, but either way, uh, that Friday, I seen that I only got a payout of 30 or $40. That instantly was like, whoa, whoa, what is going on? Because the machines, are not showing that I only made 30 to $40. They're showing that I made more, right? So I kind of get into a panic, but then I don't because it's Friday, it's the weekend. They don't work on the weekend. So uh, at the time of, I, I, I seen that, I called, I called them. And then she was like, oh, this is a quick fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this up, send it up the chain or send it whoever she got sent it to and we'll give you a call back. Never got the call back, right? So weekend goes through, I'm chilling. Monday morning, I'm on the phone, I'm on the phone. And, you know, I didn't expect to be on hold for that long because they usually pick up the phone like that. So once I seen I was on the phone for like, well, I was on the hold for like 15 minutes, I hung up. And then I went to the machines, I actually called the dude that, uh, that actually set up the machines for me, you know? And uh, he told me, he was like, hey, I had the same situation. And, you know, I had to wait on hold for an hour and 40 minutes. So he was just like, man, stay on hold. Hopefully you get this lady named Stacy or some other name or some other dude named Max. Uh, whatever he said, you just got to hold, hold on, on, the, on the phone. So I said, bet, bruh, I called them and I was on hold for two hours, bruh, two hours. And I finally get somebody on the phone and he was like, Oh, I see what happened, this and that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to the tech team so they can uh, update your account to reflect the new car readers. So I'm like, bet, when can I expect my payout? You know what I'm saying? Cause I missed some money. At this point, well right now at this point, I'm missing between 600 to $800, just facts. And uh, he was like, you know, this gonna be fixed today and you should have your payout within a, a, a couple days, if not the next day. So I'm like, bet, I think that was the weekend, another weekend. So yeah, it was a Friday. So weekend goes, I call Monday and I'm on hold again, this time for about an hour. And uh, matter of fact, I called twice. I called the first time I was on hold for 40 minutes and I got some somebody that didn't know what the hell I was talking about or what the hell was going on. And she sent me to a person that I didn't need to talk to. So the person I got a phone with, he was like, no, no, no. I'm, I deal with specifically with machine repairs. 
I gotta transfer you back to the uh the car readers, which is Kenlo. I gotta transfer you back to uh Kenlo. So I'm like, bruh, I just waited on the fucking phone. Excuse my language. I just waited on hold for all this time just for you tell me I got to get on hold and wait for somebody else. And you're like, yeah, man, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. So I finally get this lady named Stacy. Shout out to Miss Stacy. She really was a help. She uh she uh got a lot of stress up off your boy back because she really got down to the to nitty gritty for me. And you know, she's pulling up my information and I'm telling her what's going on. I told her I updated these car readers on the first, and from the first up until now, I haven't got my payouts. I can't see the uh I can't track my activity on my car readers on the website anymore. What the hell is going on? So she like, we're gonna take care of you. And she, she's looking, she's seeing what's going on, and she's confused, you know? She was like, first of all, I can't even see where your money is going. And, she, you know, she asked me what what bank I had because the bank that I had was not reflecting on the paperwork. And she was like, they set up these car readers on a dummy account. And I was like, huh? And she was like, yeah, whoever did this, did this wrong, they know what they was doing and you shouldn't even be in this situation. So I'm like, bruh, my money has been going to some other account for 15 days. Is that what you're telling me? And she was like, yeah. So uh, she had to send my onboarding to another part of the company and, you know, they'll get back with me. So I told her, like, please call me, email me. I'm by the phone today. My ring is on, so I'm going to hear everything. Call me if you got any questions because we got to get this free guy today. She said, I got you. So she emails me. I'm missing a W-9 for her. So I sent that. She calls me, and she was like, all right, we got everything. And uh, the account is set up. I'm going to send, you know, X, Y, and Z for you to, to review to see if everything is looking at how it's supposed to be. And I'm like, bet. She sent that. And then I email her back, so I'm like, when can I expect my money? You know what I'm saying? Because I had to set up a new account, well, a new uh, login with the whole different website. So I don't even know how to view the money that I'm supposed to be seeing. You know what I'm saying? And she tells me, you should expect your money within seven to 10 business days. It could come sooner. And I'm like, bruh, bruh, seven to 10 days? So I'm like, whatever. Now I'm thinking like, man, if it ain't one thing, it's another, bro. Like, I can't really uh, fathom this right now. And I actually thought about, you know, selling the location. Because once I feel played, you know, in a way, once I feel like my money being played with, it's time to let go of something, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I was feeling. You know, but now that um, it's, it's on the way, I just don't know when it's coming. You know, the show must continue. You know what I'm saying? The show gonna go on. I'm, I'm gonna still keep my locations and this and that. But it was at a point where I was like, bro, this shit ain't it. This shit for the birds. I'm about to sell this and just and just call it a day and wipe my hands clean with the vending machine. Because I can say I done it. I chased, not even a dream, but I did what I wanted to do that I was passionate about. And, you know, maybe it's time for me to do something else. You know, but. That's not what it is now, you know what I'm saying? I done got my head back right, and you know, we gonna keep rocking. We gonna keep dropping dope content, dope vending content, and we gonna keep turning snacks into stacks, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to share light that this type of stuff can happen, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, no vending YouTuber, and I'm not even a vending YouTuber, but no vending personality on YouTube is gonna tell you this information, you know what I'm, know what I'm saying? It's gonna, they gonna always show you the money and this and that, They'll show some bad, but they ain't gonna show bad like this. This is this is bad. I'm I'm missing money. Any anytime you miss money in your business is it's bad, bro. It's bad. And I'm gonna tell you that it can happen to you too. You know what I'm saying? So when it does, you can be like, I right, Pat went through this. You know what I'm saying? So don't panic. Just just call whoever got a call and get it figured out, and you're gonna be good. So I hope this story time was uh was informational for you. You know. I hate to turn my tragic events into content, but you know, I gotta keep it real with y'all. I gotta keep it all the way on 100 when it comes to the vending machine stuff because stupid stuff like this can happen and does happen. It's only a matter of time that it does, you know what I'm saying? So I'm preparing you now. 
for the stupid shit. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed some man. Hope y'all enjoyed some. I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. And uh pray for your boy, man. Pray for your boy because missing out on that money, it it really it messes up your flow. You know what I'm saying? For like your bills and getting product and this and that, take care and stuff, it really messes up your flow. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I was kinda like just 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 irritated with this with this with this business because dog, I don't have to deal with this, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it is what it is. But like I said, appreciate y'all love and support. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, seven k on the way, and uh, get in the comment section. Let me know if y'all had any similar situation, and uh, let me know what y'all did. But that's a wrap for this video, and I'll check y'all next video, bruh.